I think it's time for a malt moment. I'm going to take a bottle of cheap supermarket whiskey and I'm going to redistill it. I'm going to put it into a device called an air still, which is normally used for distilling water, but can be used for distilling other things too. And this will heat it up until it boils. The vapor will then try to escape. It will do so via this pipe here, which leads to the outside, via a spiral with heatsink fins on it in here and a fan blowing air through it. And in doing so, it will recondense that vapour and goodness knows what will come out. I reckon it's going to be a clear spirit, but there's only one way to find out. That's to crack the bottle open and to pour it in. There is another layer of this experiment though. I feel almost uh, a great desire to do a soy face, a, a thumbnail shot. That should do it. Maybe include the word wow just to fit the standards of the internet. So what I'm going to do, now I've tipped that whiskey in, smells very good I have to say, uh, the whiskey is in there, it's slashing about, I'm going to distill it, and then afterwards I'll bring it back in this bottle, it'll be a completely different colour, and I'll taste it and tell you what it tastes like. But after that, I'm thinking there's going to be residue left in here that maybe all the flavourings, if the flavourings don't come through, I will then get a bottle of cheap supermarket vodka, and pour it into the residue that's left, mix it all together and see if that comes out tasting like the whiskey. We'll find out in due course. I'll be back in a moment. The distillation is now complete and the whiskey has turned into a clear liquid, much like the vodka. The distiller, on the other hand, has the residue at the bottom, which I'm going to be adding the vodka to shortly, but you can see it's got a sticky, a sticky golden residue at the bottom. Here is a Glencairn glass. It's the correct type of glass to drink whiskey from. Let's taste the distillate and I'll tell you what it tastes like. So let's just pour some, some of this in here. Not much a smell. It smells almost like hoppy barley almost. That still tastes whiskey-ish. That doesn't taste like vodka. That is odd. Some of the flavours have gone through with that. And it's got that oily texture. That's odd. Okay. Now the vodka gets poured into the still. And we'll slosh it around with that. Oh, it is reconstituting in there. I'm not sure what it's going to taste like, given that it actually feels like this might just be the sugary caramel stuff that's used to colour the whiskey. Oh, it's not, sorry. That's the cask that colours it, apparently. Uh, so I shall slosh this around in here. And I shall spray uh, liquor all over the floor and all down my arm here. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. So I'm sloshing it around. And then I shall put a funnel into the bottle and then I shall attempt foolishly. Oh, you can kind of see this. This, I'm going to put this down here because my computer is down here. I don't want to pour stuff all over my computer. That's usually a bad thing. So I'm going to, oh, I am just am anyway. So that's me pouring what's left in the still. Oh, that's quite full. Oh, that's more. That's going to fit. It's going to fit. It's going to fit. There was a wee bit of residue there. Okay, I shall put this out of the way. So this now is... Oh, I'll, I'll shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it. Just like you're supposed to do with whiskey, apparently. Well, trash whiskey, yes. I shake my whiskey. I don't think you're supposed to do that. That's just weird. Let's pour some of this in now. Kind of smells. Little hints of whiskey as well. Maybe it's the caramelization. I think that's the caramel that was left. I think the actual flavors went through. I'm going to have to test this out with my brother Ralphie. He's the whiskey aficionado. If Ralphie calls by at some point, I'll get him to taste this, right? The two bottles. And I'll get him to, I'll, I'll add it in the description down below to tell you what he thought. But right at the moment, it's not ruined them. But of the two, 
my preference is the distilled whiskey because that is odd. Hold on, I'm just going to chug this. Mm. Wow, the Alki channel. I'm just going to have the wee taste of whiskey again. Just to verify, you know, that's it, my excuse. It's the Glaswegian in me. That definitely has a hint of the whiskey's actually gone across it. Crosses. It's like the Manx spirit that they used to sell, maybe still sell it, that they redistill whiskey and it, it actually has taken the flavours across. That surprised me. I thought this was going to be like vodka and completely neutral, but the flavours have gone across. So um, that's what happens when you, when you cross transfer, when you blend the whiskey into vodka and the vodka into whiskey, it actually the whiskey went across with, I just gave everybody the finger there, I am so sorry. The whiskey went across and this is just basically dark vodka now. But you know, a good experiment, it was well worth trying.